Welcome to PC Wizkit's Answer Back episode number three. Today we're going to look at a bunch of tools that I use in my videos. I've got a lot of feedback from you on what are you using in your hardware videos. I want the same tools so I can try them out on my hardware, on your CPUs, on your GPUs. Well, here are a couple of utilities that I use, CPU ID, CPU Z, and hardware monitor. The GPU Z I use for the GPUs, of course and core temp, I use that to monitor temperature. And then there's two more utilities such as Fraps for frames per second monitoring and the AMD Overdrive, which gives me an overall view on all the AMD components that I'm running in my system. Now starting with the uh, CPU ID CPU Z, uh, or Z, depending on where you are, this is the utility that I use to double check the uh, CPU specs. I always download the latest version, okay, so that way it supports the latest CPU and operating system that you're using. As you can see here, I'm using the AMD Phenom 2 X4965, the fastest from AMD right now, clocked at default 3.4 gigahertz. So I always go in and take a look at the clock, take a look at the cache, the voltage. You know, I use this to match and see if the readings are valid, if they match with what I have in the BIOS. If I uh, overclock things, I come back in here and I check the uh, memory. If I overclock the memory, I like to see what are the specs from the manufacturer uh, on the timings and um, the capabilities of, of the voltages and, and the uh, memory, the CPU. All of that can be done through here, including taking a quick view at the graphics card that you've got. So I, I love this little utility. It's free. You can go ahead and download it here from CPUID.com. You can have the URL on the side there and click on it, no problem, and download it for free. Now, another utility that I use is GPU Z or Z. That one just gives you all the identification information of your graphics card. So the other one is for your CPU. This one's for your graphics card. And uh, basically, it's another free utility. I love this one too. Quick, easy, straight to the point. Gives me the GPU information, the technology, the release bias updates. All of that information that I, I have applied or done to the card will reflect in here. So if I'm running at 16x on the... Uh, eight, PCI Express slot, if uh, I've overclocked it, I want to see that uh, memory and that GPU clock overclocked, and this is where I can see everything all in one shot, as well as temperature readings, uh, power management, is it idling, is it um, heating up, is the fan at full speed, I can see everything from here, I don't have to go into the Catalyst Control Center or the NVIDIA Driver Center, for example, to take a look at, uh, at all the... Uh, settings. I can just see it all from one spot. So that's why I love these types of uh, free utilities that can quickly give you the information and log it as well. So it has a logging feature. So that way if you're playing a game at full uh, load on the GPU, you can log it and then later on uh, go to that uh, log file and check and see how it did. So that's the uh, Tech Power Ups uh, free utility and I'll put the link again on the side so you can download it from there. Uh, another utility that I use is the core temp okay so cpu id's uh, hardware monitor has some temperature readings as well but i like core temp specifically for the cpu okay so when i overclock or i'm stress testing the cpu i have core temp running side by side to my stress test so i can um, see how the torture test is doing on the cpu and monitor the full load or no load temperature readings on that and as you can see here on this one the cpu uh, temperature right now is about 34 35 degrees Celsius on basically no load a uh, very little load on one of the cores and um, this is what I've been using on a lot of my videos you've been seeing this over and over right so this is what I use and you can change of course there's lots of settings in there that uh, you can enable or disable such as changing at the Fahrenheit I know many of you don't use Celsius so here you go Fahrenheit it is and uh, you can quickly see the uh, temperature change there as you um, stress test the CPU. So very nice little utility. Again, free from Core Temp, and you can go ahead and download it. And uh, here's the URL. It's the alcpu.com and then slash Core Temp, okay? So keep the uh, questions coming. I got more utilities to show you that I've used, of course. I'll uh, post those in another video. I hope you enjoyed this one, and thank you for watching.